The winner of the upcoming presidential elections in Philippines will have a major task to reverse the dire human rights situation, uh, which has seen an appalling deterioration under President Duterte. Since 2014, the Philippines has enjoyed tariff preferences under the GSP Plus system. The EU is the fourth biggest trading partner with the Philippines. However, the GSP Plus scheme is up for a review, with the current arrangement coming to its end in 2023. Now, the EU must see a steep positive curve in, in, curve in the Philippines' human rights situation to be able to accept its possible reapplication to the scheme by 2024. We demand an immediate end to extrajudicial killings, an end to red-tagging human rights defenders, journalists, trade union activists. The war on drugs is to end immediately. However, it's not only the GSP that is at stake. The EU is also increasing its requirements on companies' human rights conduct throughout their value chains. Respect for human rights will be a key factor for any business in Europe making their sourcing decisions. It's only wise to consider creating enabling conditions for business to operate in an environment free of human rights or labour rights violations. Effective implementation of international human rights standards and fundamental ILO conventions will be a prerequisite for a trade deal to be concluded with the EU. Thank you very much.